Well, why don't we just jump into it? Uh, beer of the week this week, Mr. David. What are you drinking? I have a coffee cream ale. Oh, you already lost me, but go ahead. By, it looks like Brew Dog. Okay. It's called Brew Dog Mugshot. Uh, it says, commit the crime and face the grind. <laughs> uh, it's out of Ohio. Um, got a cool little thingy on it here. If it can... Here, let me see the can there. Okay. Mugshot, yeah. yeah. It's something about a police department there. Yeah, looks good. Okay. I think that's, maybe that's supposed to be shaped like a police badge. Yeah, I can yeah. see that. Well, give us a taste. What do you think of your, what was it called? A, a cream it's a, coffee brew? It's a brew? coffee cream ale. Okay. Let's find out. Well, it's light in color. I was expecting like a dark. Good. It tastes like one of those like nitro coffees. Hmm. I guess. It just doesn't like, if I saw it in your glass, it doesn't look like, you said, oh, this is a coffee ale. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's got, I can't think of what the, it's like, it tastes like a an iced coffee with a creamer. I just can't think of hey. what the creamer is. What's the um, alcohol? It's 5.2%. Okay, so normal, normal beer. Yeah. All right, how about you? Huh. What you got? I'm just so shocked by the color of that. Um, I have a, it's called a Tropical Sun Runner, which is a fruited wheat ale. Okay. Brought to you by the good folks at Copper Tail Brewing Company in Tampa. Okay. Got an easy drinking ale made with fresh fruit inspired by the Florida sun. So there you go. It just says fruit. It doesn't say what kind of fruit. I got I got fruit, so it could be avocado or tomato. Who knows? No, we're not in we'll California. See. I'm going to go with some kind of orange or mango. or. Very light. Very light. If I had to put a fruit on it, uh, maybe like a like a pineapple ish, but it's very faint. It just kind of tastes like a, like a blonde or like a wheat ale. Okay. Have you ever had one of those Caribs? The, I think it's pine like a pineapple cider. I think it is. I have not. Okay. The brewery is actually over on your side. It's up, I think, just north of Coco. But a lot of places that you go to down here or in Florida in general will have it on tap but it's like yeah it's like a pineapple right. cider but it's like really faint huh I'll have to look at it yeah, it's pretty good okay. I'm not a big pineapple fan but yeah. I don't mind it at all I mean I was just throwing that out there it's 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 just yeah mango-y kind of like you said it's it's a some sort of lighter citrusy fruit but it's a very faint fruit it's still really good um, but what are we fruited wheat ale I would just call it kind of, I'd, I'd just call it like a blonde. It's like a blonde ale. Okay. What are we rating it out of 10? Out of 10, I'm going to go with a seven and a half. I like it. It's not spectacular. It's not terrible. It's it's kind of, it's decent. Okay. It's decent. How about you? Well, it's not really the type of beer that I typically go to, so I don't know if that will bias my my ranking, but I'll give it a seven. Well, you're no, you're kind of a fan of the, you do like the the, the chocolate stouts and yeah, but you know it's those... not my go-to though. Typically, like a a wheat or a sour is the go-to. I'll drink these, but it's not if I'm you know going out and grabbing a beer. This is more of like a a nightcap kind of thing. Have one at night. Yeah, yeah. But no, it's it's not. But I could. It tastes like you could drink it for breakfast. For breakfast, I mean, you can't drink all day unless you start early, right? That's what Joe says. 